Hi everyone, welcome to session 13 of the Art Lounge Talks. It's been a bit of a break. Uh, the last time we were on was end of August, but um, I think it's a great month to have a session because this marks one whole year to the Art Lounge Talks and like time flies. Uh, I can't believe that it's been a whole year, but I've had a fantastic time interviewing a number of really talented people and um, yeah I'm, I'm excited because today we're going to celebrate a whole year also apologies for the delay because I was practicing with my guest um, but hopefully everybody can hear us if you can uh, if everything's good please let us know um, and I will be adding my fantastic guest to this live session right now um, but meanwhile I just want to say that um, like I've been able to interview writers, musicians, hosts, um, artists, actors, curators, entrepreneurs and I hope to be able to interview so many more people from so many different professions. I see my friends there, hello everyone, uh, Abhishek is there from Amsterdam and uh, Nermeen, thank you so much and yeah some people are dancing, great, I'm happy that people are happy that it's been a whole year. Um, I'm going to be adding my friend to this equation and Sara Kazmi I cannot add you I'm sorry <laughs> a bit yes ring bling yes okay I'm adding our special guest um, to the live session right now and hello there Num oh god Numzi Bear I was gonna say Numzi Bear <laughs> Check this out. This is his get up for the one year celebration. Dance, dance, let's dance. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. <laughs> you gotta dance with me. Come on, dance. Woohoo! <laughs> See, I'm dressed All for right. like Mardi Gras. <laughs> Do it like reverse to me. Kudos to Nair Basti for this get out. He's more dressed than I am. All right. My mom has a compliment for you. She looks, She says you look okay, cool. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Auntie. Woohoo! I love that. I love it. I love it. Because um, no, I I'm going to get keep wearing them. I think they, they look fantastic. <laughs> no, I can't see. Hello. Things. Okay, I'll wear this. This has okay, to be fine. the most epic. This, this, this has to be the most... Time. This has to be the most epic introduction that I've had for now. So, Numer, uh, that was fantastic. Thank you for that. <laughs> Disco vibes, Nermeen says. Can you hear me fine? Yeah? Can you all hear me? Yeah, if guys, can you... one person says they can hear me, that's good. Um, I think Nermeen would be able to tell say... us. Anybody, just leave a comment. Say that they can hear me. So I'm, I'm happy that my um, sound is going across. <laughs> I think no matter everyone okay, can perfect. hear you. We so, um, anyway, Shanti, okay. So everybody on marking one year. Thank you. And uh, thank you. Thank you. I thank hope you see a lot more I'm coming excited. in. You're my one yes. Uh, I'm excited that you're my first year anniversary guest. And um, to everybody um, who doesn't know, I'm sure everyone does, but this is Shan Omer Emadabasi, who is a visual artist, art writer, and art educator. He's also a photographer, but I don't know why he didn't want me to write that. Anyway, uh, uh, if I call him Numzi Bear in this equation, it's only because we're so comfortable with each other. So please yes. forgive that. <laughs> you know, I have to remind um, myself that we're not just we're not just FaceTiming and that we've got an audience. So I'll have to like exactly. keep filtering whatever I say. So um, I think we'll start with me uh, introducing the mayor, and then we'll move on to the questions. How does that sound? Okay, good nobody answered because only an American hear me. Okay, so basically our first anniversary special guest is Sean Mayer. And um, as you said, we'll try to keep these talks as professional as possible. Um, so Sean Mayer Ahmed Abbasi is a multidisciplinary artist and a freelance writer who lives and works in Karachi. He completed his BFA with distinction, smart boy, from the Indus Valley School of Art and Architecture in 2014 and has since exhibited both locally and internationally. He was the recipient of the Gasworks Pakistan Residency 2018 in London, which is a very prestigious one, and, um, and Tropical Artist Residency in Steinfurt, Luxembourg. 
He was a visiting artist fellow of the Lakshmi Mittal South Asian Institute at Harvard University, Cambridge in 2020. He's been writing reviews and discourses on art for various publications since 2015 and was the art writer in residence for Vassal Artists Association 13 Taza to Serene Residency Program in 2021. And Shana Mehr currently teaches at not a private but I think three different uh, institutions currently as uh, well as Alma Mater, which is Indusan. So that is a fantastic bio. Nums, uh, liken it, liken it. Um, oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, Listen, so, let's try and not keep okay, it very, very professional. All right, we're going to keep it light, yeah. and we're going to have fun, and we're going to have a very fun conversation. Yeah, we're going to have fun because I know what people would like. Okay. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Thank you, Sarah, okay. for your lovely comments. <laughs> okay, so let's start from the absolute beginning. So, Namir, please tell us about your journey after your BFA, and when did an interest in art come into the mix? Okay. फर्स्टली मुझे पहले ये बताओ कि तुम्हें मेरी आवाज सही आ रही है हां मुझे आ रही है एंड प्लीज जो भी देख रहे हैं वो बता दें कि आवाज आ रही है द बेस्ट वे टू गो अबाउट इज ट्रांस जस्ट लीव अ 2 सेकंड पॉज आफ्टर यू फिनिश अ सेंटेंस बिकॉज़ आई फील लाइक देयर इज अ डिले राइट सो वेट 2 सेकंड्स टिल यू हियर बैक फ्रॉम द अदर पर्सन ओके दैट विल दैट विल वर्क एनीवे सो व्हाट वाज द क्वेश्चन अगेन व्हेन डिड द इंटरेस्ट इन आर्ट बिगिन uh not yeah. since childhood, and your education right? journey okay uh so not since childhood because uh you know like how everybody says ki hame to bachpan se hi shauq tha ya kya uh that wasn't the case with me like i didn't i didn't i wasn't into art uh since childhood i do remember and i hope my uh i hope my uh, brother does not watch this or my bhabhi does not watch this but my brother was really good at art But- he was very very good at art oh. um uh and i remember like our parents would um uh, like they would put, put us into a lot of like uh, extracurricular stuff so book readings uh koi bachcho ke plays ho rahe wahan le gaye my brother was into karate uh, we used to go swimming and art was also one of the things that we used to uh you know uh take like extra classes for uh i remember mere dad ki koi patient thi unke clinic ke paas ke thi uh she was an art teacher so my dad got me uh and my brother kind of like you know both of us enrolled there so we clinic se pehle hame wahan drop karte the and would pick us up uh on the way back so i remember that every time my brother would make something like he would just get compliments all right and he would make stellar work he would make amazing like rendered pieces light and dark the understanding highlights and shadows the understanding and i think i was like what six and he was nine or maybe i was 9 and he was yeah. 12 three year difference and mm-hmm. here i was sitting mm-hmm. i was making i was making a bloody apple okay like a flat apple okay. with a thick outline black outline and just like rendered it flat completely red and it typically like ek patta usme se nikal ke aa raha hai and i was in my head thinking that i would get compliments on that right which i did not and i remember i used to make ding dong okay. bubbles a lot like ding dong ding dong bubble ka jo cover thi really? with the little uh, yeah. bell i used to draw that a lot as well uh so anyway so we used to then also take part in competitions like british council mein hua tha mcdonalds mein koi random competition hua tha bachon ka so everywhere we went my brother would just get like the first prize you know and i would be sitting there be like expecting to be called out but not no that didn't happen right uh so i guess that out of envy i just picked it up i was like i want to get better at this i want to you know uh also get like uh compliments on the uh on my skills as well So I picked it up. I became better, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it really, like a lot. Uh, and then there came a point where uh, uh, maximum my drawing was up to three by six, seventh grade. I remember seventh, eighth grade. Me, I know I'm sharing a lot of anecdotes because I know a lot of people really like to listen to like kissa kahaniya. So that's why I'm going to I'm going to yeah, kind yeah, of like yeah. emphasize Including on those more. Uh, but I remember like yeah. seventh. So I remember seventh, eighth grade. Me. Uh, Not eighth grade because my eighth grade literature teacher is now my colleague. Seventh grade ki literature teacher, we were studying underground to Canada, and every time mm-hmm. we would cover a, a chunk of chapters, my teacher would then give me a chart paper and she'd be like, "Acha, ab tum in chapters mein se koi bhi ek scene pick karke banao, because we need to put it up on the drawing board." And that became a regular thing. And she didn't even ask, right? She was just like instructed, and not in a threatening way, but like she just. 
instructed to okay now you're going to make this and i'd be like ha yes okay let's type i remember this one time uh next day was ptm and it was also the submission of one of the drawings and at 4 o'clock in the morning yeah. i uh, was working on it and i began crying like i had a panic attack because there was no way i was going to finish oh. it just became so burdensome um i mean i don't know shoot kar diya and maine jaan buch ke zyada zor se rona shuru kar diya like loudly because i wanted my parents to hear me cry and come to my rescue which they did okay <laughs> they did my mom eventually came out of her room and she was like kya hua why are you crying i'm like there's so much work i need to give this in tomorrow and it's not even graded like it's not even an assignment assignment the teacher just gave me the same you know um possible for you to reenact that crying right now so we all can see how loud it was no i can't okay but it was like bawling it was it was proper loud crying okay because i did want to, to oh. get across the room into their bedroom right so i had to make sure it was loud yeah. enough uh so my mom yeah, said okay. chhod do you're not doing this and then mm-hmm. the next morning it was ptm and then both my parents went and then they said to the uh, uh, the little chick teacher they were like uh, please aap isko jo hai na itna sara kaam nahi diya kare because they cannot handle it and she said ha okay okay nahi main to bilkul bhi nahi ye to mujhe hi bata dete kya turned out that at the ptm it was the last day of the semester and uske baad winter break aa rahi thi turned out that at the ptm she had another chart paper with her and she was going to give me that for the winter break ki ab tum ye karke leke aana back in jan and wo she held it back and she oh, gave it to some other um some other student so you know so i, I oh, mean, sure. to, obviously like the dynamics have changed like i teach i would never ask a kid to make something for the class and be like ye tumhe karke lana hai and the, you know they can also very freely come to me and be like sir we've got a lot of workload you can't do this um so anyway yeah yeah so backdrop when i got involved i got involved in a lot of like banner making for sports day uh o level mein i think i was on the design team of one of the magazines i remember so were you so you know that kind of activity then began to uh, take place acha phir kya hua ke um my brother wanted you know after he was done with his a levels he also kind of wanted to pursue art now uh i don't know if he still is but back then he was kind of like a malleable person if the parents said ki acha ye nahi aise uh ye kar lo wo kar lo he'll be like ha sahi hai okay i'll do this and because we come from a family of doctors there was also this kind of silent pressure of becoming doctors so he said acha main plastic surgeon ban jata hu because i feel like that was like the confluence of like art and medicine yeah both art, art right So, um, yeah. so he said, "I'll become a plastic surgeon." He didn't get in in his first attempt. Then he applied for uh, actuarial sciences, I think, to UCL. And by then, he applied here as well for the second time. But by then, he had made up his mind. Okay, I'll just go do something else. And now he's become like this corporate uh, banker type. Still very creative. You know, plays music, is in a band, and ha- we have paintings of his like around oh. the house. अच्छा फिर अब मेरी बारी आई कि अब मुझे क्या करना है अब मुझे भी आर्ट करना था right and uh i can you not like the parents my parents is the same thing like it's just a hobby it's not a viable option why are you picking it my dad took me to like two one or two artists he took me to one or two career counselors uh all of whom discouraged me from pursuing art um and i don't know if it was really? also like going to an art school yeah all of them and uh i knew like main tak koi bachcha bhi nahi tha i knew that um kya kehte hain uh that he had spoken to them before ye aayega aur usko aap jo hai thoda discourage karega ye na le and we had a we had an ugly confrontation as well i said do you think i'm stupid like i know you know uh that you i already spoke to them like i want to do what i want to do uh right and like why i said my brother is a malleable person and i'm so i am like my way or the highway like i generally yeah. that's my personality like my family knows this my friends know this ki mujhe jo karna hai wo main karunga so i didn't give in to the pressure mm-hmm. what i did do was that i uh then said that acha same architecture kar lunga i'll i'll become an architect because i felt like that was still a bit more palatable for uh you know <laughs> parents and extended family ke acha architecture unko pata hai kya hota hai art shayad fir bhi na pata even though my mom's a great painter up to decades ago she used to paint and we still have like a few paintings of hers around the house but not looking at it as a profession mm. profession so i enrolled into ibs i uh, also got into nca and i got into a couple of other universities abroad for architecture uh everyone suggested that if you're doing architecture just do it from ibs if you want to then go for masters and go bahir after that so when i i was then i joined and then uh after we were done with the first year the foundation year i realized that architecture yeah. is for me like all the architecture kind of related assignments 
I was not enjoying them at all. And I, we were also observing, like our seniors and, I, and stuff, and the kind of work they were doing. And I was like, like so the yeah, same they, thing they, happened they, with me because. Like yeah, I was just going to come I, to that. I, had, I, I was also going to mention that as well, right? So I, I, I was like, um, uh, this is not my kind of thing. I want to do fine art. And then there was another yeah. moment, another breakdown, another moment of like, what am I doing with my life? You know, another confrontation with parents where they're like, are you sure you, this is what you want to do? And my brother was very supportive. Mm-hmm. You know, he said to my parents, like, listen, let him do what he wants to do. And then at the end of the day, my parents were like, okay, say it, you joke do as long as you excel at it, as long as you're proactive, as long as, you know, you're, you're kind of striving to do the best that you possibly can and not kind of becoming laid back and, and lazy. So whatever exactly, like pretty much anything that you want to do, do it, but just try and be the best uh, at it. Uh, and so I switched to fine art and I know you did too from interior design to, you know, fine art. And I think for me, at least, that was like the best decision ever, like coming into fine art. No regrets, nothing. You know, I'm so glad that I've, I've made that decision. Uh, and I'm very, very happy with where I am and, you know, uh, with where I sort of crossed over. Um, in in the past, yeah. And I, I'm um, happy with having. But I do know, like my mom. For your BS. Oops. Yeah. Go on, go on. I'm saying, are you also happy with having studied at Indus Valley for your BFA? Yeah, it was a great experience. So a lot of people think I was a burger butcher, okay? Which I may or may not be. I have no shame. Uh, but uh, you know. Uh, so you won't be able to gel in. Like it's not the kind of setting you would be uh, comfortable with. Um, so that was another reason yeah. why a lot of people convinced me to going to Iris. And I, and I enjoyed it. Like I enjoyed studying there. I enjoyed uh, the company, the kind of people I met, the friends I made, um, the teachers, everything. Like it wasn't, you know. And I think at the end of the day, it was also very, very convenient for me to just be so close to home, you know, uh, yeah. resources yeah. wise. Uh, so I think it, yeah. it was a good decision. I was going to add, like my mom, uh, my mom, like she keeps saying, like I think even a year or two ago, she kept saying that you are. I don't know exactly what she said, but the interpretation I took from it is that I'm kind of like uh, Kiskawa kind. Okay, like obviously she doesn't say that to my face. If she didn't say that in that kind of face, she <laughs> meant it in a very polite, you know, way. Ki tum, uh, like alagi raste chalte ho type or something like that. Like, and that's how I understood it. Like, she means that I'm a bit quirky. Quirky, yeah. What? Okay. I guess yeah, yeah, it's yeah. in some way. So she yeah. keeps telling yeah. me that I kept changing what I wanted to become. So there was a time where I wanted to become an actor. There was a time when I wanted to become a fashion designer. There was a time when I wanted to become a vet. Okay, again, because no. pressure that, okay, doctor's family. So you want to become a doctor but I love animals so I'm like okay you know what closest is that I want to a doctor and then the funniest bit my mom told me that you know when we were in our school there was a guy who was standing in the school and every time we'd, we'd uh, if she'd come to pick me up we'd get a guy and I would just stand there and she told me that you would point out that she would say that I would be a guy who would be a guy and I was like what like did I actually say this she said yes that's true uh, That's too funny. In How? Hindsight, I like, can, I can totally. Fifth grade, fourth grade, I think maybe, but uh, okay. I can totally see that. Like I, 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 I can totally see. I could have possibly said that because I'm still very enchanted and uh, you know um, drawn towards that process of. Uh, I just get so like you know um, entranced in him, kind of using this weird tool to. To make the makai or wo bitti hai, which apparently is salt, and then he kind of like uh, sifts it through. And I just used to love that process. Like, I was like, this is so ingenious the way he's kind of making this makai, which is what I still think, by the way. So, I think that's what, the reason why I probably said that I want to become a makai wala. But okay, no, that didn't happen. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's to sum up the, uh, the question. Bring in your- I, I would just lay a disclaimer. Yes. To everybody that I do digress and I do talk a lot, especially because it's Shanze and 
every time chance and i go like okay can we have a quick 5 minute call or 10 minute call i can't you know that goes Sorry. to like 2 hour or 2 hour conversation yeah. okay so i i can yeah. even play the what's it called uh, a timer if you want to keep us on track this is one question this is question 1 that's all that's this is the answer to question yeah that was one. just question 1 okay okay we still have we still have 11 okay. to go what no okay i'll keep my no no but all right uh, i'm trying to keep my shot it's great. to the point stuff okay i'm going to the second question now okay so nomar can you tell us a little about your work its themes and imagery as uh, because they're sometimes considered to be like nsfw so can you elaborate on why you make what you make just say and not safe also, for work how, yeah not safe for work and um also um can you mention how you deal with the uh, with potential censorship when displaying here in pakistan acha okay i'll answer the uh, the second question first, first one, and then i'll come to the the uh, like the second part i'll answer first okay honestly speaking making work around the body and sexuality and gender and all those uh, types of work they don't get that heavily censored as works that have to do with politics and religion so I won't say that I have it that bad. No, I haven't. Uh, yes, my works have been censored a few times. You know, uh, publication में वो crop होते हैं. Just like when I'm making work, I don't get the coverage that I want. It's not as much as I want. You know, uh, so I lose out on outreach because of. For people who don't know what you make. Com- yeah, so I'm, I'm coming to that. I, your voice wasn't coming across. I just heard the last bit. but if you were asking me to to explain what i make i'll come to that but i'm just telling you about the censorship but uh <clears throat> to mera itna koi bura scene nahi hota ek do dafa jo uh, kaam mere censor hue hain publication wagaira mein censor hue hain coverage itni zyada nahi hoti so i lose out on that kind of outreach and uh, maybe once or twice uh, you know uh, kya kehte hain the work was taken off or very politely told ke okay your work will be taken off and i think also the kind of work i make you also lose out on that uh, like this public kind of uh, platforms or uh, exhibitions or anything of that sort because it was type ka us uski wo noyat hai nahi ki wo public platform pe ya badi audience ke samne lagayi jaye so these are a few things that you know i'm okay with losing out on and dusra ye hai that i feel like काम बनाना एक अलग चीज होती है काम दिखाना एक अलग चीज होती है आई कीप रिपीटिंग राइट सो आई एम विद लॉट ऑफ माय वर्क्स आई एम वेरी ओके विद हैविंग मेड दैट ओके इट्स ओके इफ इट डजंट गेट डिस्प्लेड इफ इट डज नॉट गेट एग्जिबिटेड इफ नोबडी सीज इट आई एम वेरी हैप्पी विद हैविंग मेड दैट एंड आई एम दैट काइंड ऑफ पर्सन वेयर आई फील लाइक आई नीड टू रिगर्जिटेट इफ देयर इज समथिंग इन माय माइंड दैट आई वांट टू मेक यू नो वो होता है कि आई नीड टू वॉमिट इट आउट अदरवाइज आई विल बी रेस्टलेस एज फॉर द वर्क आई स्टार्टेड विद मी talking about my relationship with my mom and uh like at the uh the kind of strenuous relationship we had and it was very like you know I became this kind of rebellious child while she was I think cancer and uh being kind of looking back at that time with regret and also you know uh how I have I was generally a very volatile person in that sense that I was very short tempered you know I've had to work really hard to control that as well तो उस सब पे मैं रिफ्लेक्ट करता था एंड इट वाज आल्सो वन साइडेड कॉन्वर्सेशन लाइक इट वाज यूजुअली शी वुड बी द वन रीचिंग आउट एंड आई वुड बी द वन काइंड ऑफ यू नो नॉट रिस्पोंडिंग इनफ तो काम जो वो शुरू हुआ एंड देन अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स यू लुक बैक इन हाइंडसाइड एंड यू देन काइंड ऑफ यू नो रीड देम वेरी डिफरेंटली अह सो आई रिमेंबर लाइक देन इट बिकेम अबाउट अ इमोशनल इमोशनल बैगेज एंड इट बिकेम अबाउट हाउ इन एनी काइंड ऑफ रिलेशनशिप नॉट जस्ट योर लवर्स और योर पार्टनर टू हुएवर but your parents and your you know your children siblings family friends in any kind of relationship there's so many complexities and so much of strain that you kind of start taking yeah. each other's package yeah. that you have to carry yourself right uh to wo uske upar maine kaam banaya and now in hindsight i look back at that work and i go like am i talking about the baggage that uh, that uh, that people kind of dumped on me or am i talking about my own baggage that i was you know i'm i'm trying to not acknowledge or not trying to like put down and open up and unpack right so quite possibly it was my own baggage that i was kind of concealing behind or you can see or ka bojh hai jab ke mera apna bojh hai right so that's something that i looked yeah. at then it became about gender politics um 
you know what it what it means to be a man in a society like Pakistan, especially in like a public sphere. You know, uh, there's a lot of pressure on women, and there's a lot of pressure on men as well. Not to negate the kind of uh, society pressures there on women. I think they're infinitely times, uh, you know, sort of, sort of worse. Uh, but the, as a brown kid, as a brown man, what pressure do I have? You know, how am I expected to yeah. to behave uh, in my uh, uh, private life, in my public life? So, and particularly from a very queer perspective. So I was looking at all of that um, and using the body as kind of like a vessel to convey, uh, you know, my ideas around this or my my inquiry or my my thoughts around it. Um, and then I also became about this, the work. So these are just a couple of, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not really taking you chronologically. Maybe I am, but I'm also talking about these concerns that, that keep, keep popping up, you know, in between work. Uh, you know, something that I did in my student life is now relatable to what I'm doing right now, for example, right? And then you kind of have to look back at your work and join the dots and be like, Acha, okay, these were the concerns that are kind of relevant in all of these works. Uh, so I'm yeah. also very interested in yeah. like, like the public self and the private self. I'm I'm very interested in how how we behave, how we perform, uh, gendered behavior as a performance, for example. You know when and what parts of us uh, are we performing, and when are we our real selves? Like right now, am I performing? You know, for your audience, for your gorgeous audience, or am I being my you know true self? Right? Do I speak to do I speak to myself from my mind the same way I'm speaking to you right now do i speak to my mother the same way yeah i speak i'm speaking to you yeah. right now like which part is which part is uh acquired which part is conditioned yeah. and which part is us being our real self so these are the kind of concerns exactly. uh, you know that that i'm very interested in um uh, so right. then i started looking into um digital behavior and digital performances particularly in 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 in, in queer digital spaces in dating apps in hookup apps and Bahape, like the way i kind of see it as um, as a parallel realm, right? Uh, the way we interact there is very different the way we interact here. And a lot of things, you forget your memory, but it becomes so uh, fleeting, right? So by the time you swipe right uh, on the fifth person, you've already forgotten the first person. You've forgotten the first person. swipe Whereas if I were to meet e- even one person for like five minutes, uh, you know, in flesh, in real life, in the physical sense, I will remember, I'm very likely to remember that face um, years later. So why is it that, you know, we, we behave differently there, we behave differently here, uh, how we kind of uh, appropriate these digital spaces, um, uh, how we interacting with each other, racial uh, uh, fetishize, fetish, I can never say this word, fetishization, okay, like uh, that, you know, that happens on these kind of apps. Uh, you would think that, you know, digital space would bring people together, but how does it create like these racial divides? Um, so, I'm seeing all these things. And uh, now I'm losing my chain of thought. I didn't say anything about it. So, like how this kind of digital architecture manipulates yeah. us and, and yeah. makes us... Go on. Okay, I was I just going to say that... Uh, some... So, how this kind of digital <laughs> architecture box with the there's basically a speech bubble with a question mark in the middle so whoever has questions can you add them there and then we'll take them in the end thank you okay, on to you uh, so how, how that digital architecture kind of manipulates us uh, to behave a certain way or to perform a certain way or what if we are a real selves on these kind of you know uh, to the point purpose driven dating and hookup apps and we are performing in this in this real world right these are the kind of questions uh, i have right so now i'm very interested in like these digital spaces and also looking at like instagram looking at um looking at um uh, snapchat looking at tiktok uh, there's another app that i'm quite fascinated by which i'm not on but i know i the kind of work i want to make around it it's called be real and it kind of sends you an alarm at apparently at that alarm you have to take a picture like you have to take a picture of yourself and whatever is in front of you right so i'm very yeah. interested in that as well and i want to see how that can come into my work i'm looking into like social media lingo um you know phrases yeah. like slide into my dms like where did that come like how did that come into being right like who came up with that uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, felt cute my delete later right like these very <laughs> like thirst traps for example 
right? And then there are these hashtags. Yeah. So there's a hashtag which is like, uh, it's called um, either it's called Hump Day Wednesday or it's called Hump Back Wednesday. Okay, that's a hashtag, and that's actually okay. where you post salacious uh, uh, butt shots. Okay, you post your day, mm-hmm. uh, and Hump Day Wednesday is clear because Wednesday is considered to be like the hump of the. The entire week, so after yeah. you pass Wednesday, you are kind of closer to the. But uski wo alagi meaning nikal ke unhone jab wo kuch aur bana diya usko, right? Uh, so I, I'm so interested mm. in how people kind of like uh, use up these spaces. Like for example, Snapchat was an application to send like uh, incriminating photos of yourself to somebody else. Yeah. Uh, you know. Um, yeah. Because you could not take screenshots, everything gets deleted. But it somehow became this very silly. Uh, app where you would put filters and you would do like you know we've done it like we back and forth here you know हम इतने कोई lame content बना के एक दूसरे को एक ही studio से दूसरे studio में बैठ के भेजते थे you know Snapchat पे सिर्फ became about this okay you know what nobody can take a screenshot nobody can uh, 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 you know save these photos I'm going to just do something super embarrassing that I would be judged for uh, you know in real life so वो उसका Snapchat के जो function था उसने and how you kind of so i really like to use these applications as a form of research as well like all my interaction yeah. engagement with people you know where i may or may not be performing you know i may or may not be my real self but i use that kind of information to then uh, inform my work so yeah that's about it oh. sorry another lengthy that's response acha <laughs> um so namer um as an educator and former student um which areas do you feel in art education need to be focused on further or perhaps are completely ignored uh i think up to ab zyada is pe baat ho rahi hai so it's coming into play but um uh, basically how do you pursue art as a professional career okay that is something that that was lacking and it wasn't just lacking in pakistan it was lacking or maybe still is across the globe right like you are huh. taking a professional degree how are you as an educator ensuring that i can sustain this uh degree uh you know like i can sustain myself and my family through this degree these are the conversations that need to have we need to have right so uske bare mein itna baat hoti nahi thi aap dusre school jao dusre subjects mein jao wahan pe um internships ka ya placements ka ya counseling ye sari cheeze hoti hain you know yahan pe art schools no. itna wo sab nahi hota tha so like very basic things right like how to how to price a work for example how to increase yeah, the cost of the work how to write a proposal how to get a rejection how to like deal with rejection what if you're not getting any shows and what do you do right like these are very basic things that i think are very very important to be included in in in, in academia right because Yeah, yeah, like we come from a brown family, you know. I have a lot of pressure. My dad invested the money in my college. He's he can turn around and be like, okay, I spent so much in your in your college. Of what is what is the return? You know, how much are you contributing to yeah. the house bills, yeah. etc. So I need to make sure that yeah. what I'm doing can can actually provide me with with bread and butter, right? So that part uh, of it, I feel like that needs to be worked on and brought into academia. Okay, boy. हाँ अच्छे से ये मैंने स्किल्स भी सीखी मुझे कंसीव करना भी आ गया आइडिया काम बनाना भी आ गया यू नो ऑल द फॉर्मेलिटीज एवरीथिंग आई हैव डिस्कस एंड नाउ हाउ डू आई टेक दिस फॉरवर्ड एंड मेक शोर दैट आई मेक मनी दैट इज समथिंग दैट आई आई थिंक नीड्स टू बी वेरी एक्सप्लेसिवली देयर वाज अ लॉट ऑफ शेम एड्रेस टू इट एज़ वेल एंड आई थिंक यू नो गेट ओवर इट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल एंड अप सेइंग के नहीं सोचा करो क्या कहते हैं के काम बिकेगा या नहीं बिकेगा उसके बारे में यू नो तुम्हें जो करना है वो करो डोंट थिंक अबाउट इफ इट सेल्स एन ऑर्डर किसी का अगर बिक रहा है तो उसके पे सेल आउट का लेबल वगैरह वो देखते हैं लेट मी जस्ट टेल एवरीबॉडी लाइक इफ यू आर यू नो इफ यू आर सेइंग टू समबडी दैट डू नॉट थिंक अबाउट अह कि बिकता है या नहीं बिकता है प्लीज नो दैट यू आर स्पीकिंग फ्रॉम अ पोजीशन ऑफ इमेंस प्रिविलेज ओके इफ यू डू नॉट हैव टू थिंक अबाउट मेकिंग मनी थ्रू योर वर्क यू हैव इमेंस प्रिविलेज राइट दीस आर रियल कंसर्न्स दैट नीड टू बी एड्रेस्ड एंड आई थिंक इट्स टोटली ओके 
जाओगे you know if you go to the store you will find a tamed down version very similar but a very commercial and accessible uh, uh you know uh, garment that looks very similar to to what they presented exactly. on the runway right so why can't we do something yeah. like that right a lot of things i can't do or don't want to do because i feel like usme itne paise lagenge aur pata nahi ki usme main paise bana paunga ya nahi bana paunga you know so or for if, if this is what i have to think about and then somebody comes up to me and be like oh but don't think about paise banenge nahi banenge i feel like dude like chill okay you're speaking from privilege and and shut up basically that's what i would want to tell exactly. you very politely because it's also borderline offensive to say this to somebody ke oh paise banenge nahi banenge learned in real life that's it, why you asked it was kind of different i mean hmm. can you hear me i'm saying uh, school did teach us certain uh, some great things which is how to make good art but survival in the in the actual world they were we were not taught we were not we were just thrown into so the important. abyss it is so and important it, right do survive kare survival of the fittest type scene tha and um I mean, but i've heard ke uh, ab ja in cheezon ke bare mein aap 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 khud dekh lo ke every batch kitne artists actually eventually end up working right every batch yeah exactly and so, yeah. up working right what if what if there's yeah. some introvert yeah. like what if like networking is very very important all right it is super important yeah. you need to hustle hustling is very very important yeah. and these are things that you need to sort of how to talk about your work is very very important all right so these are things that yeah. you need to kind of address ab ek bechara jo introvert hai jisko sharam aati hai kisi se baat karne mein bhi wo fir kaise survive karega exactly. right uh exactly. public speaking ka kisi ko fear hai wo kaise survive karega so these are things that you need to kind of uh, you know uh, uh to uh, to address uh but sadly is pe itni baat hoti nahi hai but thankfully uh you know ab 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 ho rahi hai so yeah that's good acha no mera i just want to plug this in right now because uh, and i'm going to oh, plug okay. it in at other that as part of our first anniversary celebrations we have partnered with karachi candle and we means me but i like saying saying we uh, we're going to be giving away two of these uh, lovely candles uh, and for that uh, i've outlined the basically what we need from you guys in one of the posts so which is to like my my instagram the mayor's instagram handle and uh, it's okay you don't have to uh, like mine if that's okay you can but like shans is okay and follow our videos and watch them. no no karachi candle and just share like this interview in your post okay in not your post your stories and just share the screenshots with me and then we'll take out like a what do you call it a lucky a draw basically then two people are going to get these candles so woohoo uh, okay i have wanted to plug that into mary you can go on <laughs> that means laughing no um, man yeah, no, go on lady, i think but i was saying okay okay thing is important you know hustling Very is important, important. Uh, uh remaining relevant is important how how what if i disappear out of the scene you know uh these are real life huh. concerns yaar and i think ye, ye, is pe baat karni chahiye and i see like my because i'm teaching you know uh, the students who are soon going to be artists like these are things that i'm concerned for for them you know like so so many of them have yeah. potential you know but how many of them will actually go through all of this to be able to you know exactly. survive Uh, exactly. and make a name exactly. for themselves so ye ye cheeze hain which you need to kind of you know um uh, address and talk about yeah. the spot because i think you you told me that you probably don't want to answer this but let's see okay if what you don't it? have an answer you can say yeah. i don't remember which is the can you ask okay so can you tell us about any strange funny or ridiculous incident you may have had while working as an either an artist writer teacher or photographer Yeah, I don't remember any. Come on, Namir, you can talk about our times in the basement when I mean, we in our fourth year. Yeah, guy with the I lame mean, stuff. Okay, do all of them. Every fourth year ends up doing lame stuff in the in the basement. Yeah, uh, but not that. I mean, I wouldn't call that this funny. Is a... That was just part of life. Like it's a phase that everybody goes through. Uh, anything uh-huh. funny? 
tell us what did you do in the basement we used to make a lot of uh, dub smashes which was the original uh, uh, i would say was the original tiktok you know hum wo bahut banate the humne pura dance choreograph kiya tha uh basically yeah, like, randomly did... just in the moment and we ended up and we ended up performing like uh performing that dance at a mandi like we were literally yeah. just randomly people just joined in and then we ended up making a whole choreographed dance in the basement in fourth year <laughs> mid crits all of that was... you know so we did a lot of like games stuff but a lot of fun so we had fun you know and but we made it fun so... it was okay i'm going to tell you guys it was called there's a song called blue hai pani pani and two people were yellow and because they were the sun and the other two were blue because they were the water <laughs> and we made this in the no basement. i remember we it was like what kya kehte hain wo tha aaj blue hai pani pani so we kind of were doing literal dancing like interpretation so we all yeah, were wearing blue, blue you know, outfit so we would do like aaj blue hai and then we would do pani <laughs> And then be sunny. Funny, like funny. I remember the steps. I'm not kidding. Okay, uh, so it was very funny, but it was fun. How on each photo, maybe each, and then Rabia made this step. Okay, the biggest part. So bad. 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 Uh, oh come on incident that happened like, okay, yeah like no what why didn't you tell me yours like so that might like i mean give me we talk about the same stuff eight magic shows in our fourth year like we would ah, have a say that like i wouldn't count that as like you know uh, an incident per se uh, right yeah. those are just some activities that we used to do ha nah, that's true fine fine if, if you anyway, think of any so that मुझे अगर कुछ आया याद तो मैं ये जब तुम पोस्ट करोगी इसके कमेंट में लिख दूंगा इफ एनीथिंग कम्स टू माइंड फाइन फाइन अच्छा इफ यू कुड चेंज समथिंग अबाउट द पाकिस्तानी आर्ट वर्ल्ड व्हाट वुड इट बी मोर फंस आई गेस मोर इन्वॉल्वमेंट मोर सीरियसनेस टुवर्ड्स आर्ट मोर मोर स्टेट फंडिंग राइट या लाइक किसी भी चीज में पार्टिसिपेट करने के लिए आप उसको एक प्रोडक्शन बजट दो उसको एक प्रॉफिट भी मिलना चाहिए वो अपना टाइम लगा रहा है सो आई फील लाइक देयर वी लैक अ लॉट राइट वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ कमर्शियल स्पेसेस वी डोंट हैव अ लॉट नॉन कमर्शियल स्पेसेस लाइक आई सेड अर्लियर लाइक इफ आई वांट टू डू समथिंग माय एंड दिस इज द कन्वर्सेशन आई हैव विद अ लॉट ऑफ अदर आर्टिस्ट्स एज़ वेल मुझे कुछ करना है मेरी पहली चीज यही होगी कि क्या मैं अफोर्ड कर सकता हूं बनाना और कल को अगर ये नहीं बिका तो क्या ये इतना बड़ा पीस मेरी बेसमेंट में पड़ा रहेगा यू नो सो दीज अ फ्यू थिंग्स सो मे बी समबडी व्हिच इज व्हाई आई हाईली एनकरेज एवरीवन टू काइंड ऑफ अप्लाई फॉर लाइक पेड रेजिडेंसीज एंड स्टफ बिकॉज़ देयर यू गेट टू एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड प्ले अराउंड विद व्हाटएवर यू वांट टू डू बिकॉज़ देयर फंडिंग ओके अगेन नॉट इन पाकिस्तान हम बाहर चले गए उससे बट वहां पे अगर आपको यू नो आई विल हैव टू गिव क्रेडिट टू वसल का रेट में समथिंग लाइक दिस इज वेल एंड देयर आर अ फ्यू अदर्स दैट हैव पॉप्ड अप uh you know across the across the country uh but these residencies chai wo local ho ya international ho wahan pe aap apply karo a lot of them pay you like they give you a stipend uh you know and you can use that money to create something that you normally wouldn't do in your studio practice because you don't have that pressure of putting in your own money or bearing any kind of loss right uh yeah. so if you do that to aapko wahan se jo hai wo ideas nikal ke aa sakte hain then again jo jo maine pichla example diya tha के मैंने बहुत ही कोई क्रेजी काम जो है वो उधर जाकर बना लिया नाउ व्हेन आई कम बैक आई कैन डू लाइक अ टेम डाउन यू नो अ मोर एक्सेसिबल वर्जन ऑफ इट ओवरऑल दैट सेम थिंग दैट आई डिड एट सम रेजिडेंस या या दैट दैट समथिंग दैट आई वुड चेंज ओके सो आई आई एग्री विद यू एंड आई वुड लाइक टू ऐड सम स्टफ हियर अ पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस दैट आई हैड रिसेंटली आई एम नॉट गोना नेम एनी गैलरी बट आई सेंट माय वर्क टू अनदर सिटी एंड I mean, oh, so oh, as art, <laughs> you should use these forums to speak about what you need to speak about. Okay. Okay. So yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So I sent it, and I mean, nothing happened. But my point is, I've um, I got the work. See, it's expensive to make the work itself with the printing, material cost, everything, your time. It. It. So I was just shocked. 
आई मीन प्लेजेंटली सरप्राइज एट द आइडिया कि बाहर की कंट्रीज में आपको आर्टिस्ट फीस मिलता है टू एक्चुअली प्रोड्यूस वर्क राइट वो सारी चीजें नहीं तो फिर फ्रेम भी हमें कराना होता है सो यू पे फॉर दैट एंड देन यू सेंड द वर्क यू get it transported to a different city so that's also expensive okay so now when it came from the work for the work to be sold someone was interested in it and they wanted a discount so the somebody asked me to it was ke is gap ki policy ye hai ki agar discount takes the aapke se karta hai to the that for the part of that they're going to take the 35% of the risk price but if you want that's messed up around, so and i was just like that's so unfair maine kaha ke itna hum itne matlab waise karega then you minus the other costs and you know i was like it should be an equal thing the gallery should be happy enough to make a sale ek to agar wo nahi discount denge shayad sale hi nahi hogi so why should it be the other thing and yeah i feel like this is i feel like this is exploitation you know that i know ke the galleries yeah, have definitely. their own costs and all but ek 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 balance hi cheez honi chahiye so yeah stuff like that then being paid for time matlab that concept is alien in pakistan time to aapko matlab wo wo koi cheez hi nahi hai na ki aap agar junior ho to aapko ragheda jayega ye to karna hi hota hai padhne so that's so not you know i have been told that there is this big organization uh, that told a uh, friend of ours because she wants to apply for a job and um uh, not enough and she asked for a raise she was like this is not enough she to usko kaha jata hai ye hamare paas senior bola usko ke but do you have a family and kids you don't right so then why should we pay you that much matlab these are educated people who are in ke tumhe paise tumhe tumhe kaun se paise ghar mein dene hai ya kya aise karke kuch bola tha exactly which is so messed up it is so messed up and these are which i won't take but i think like it was me like i would have and it takes a lot so congrats on her to kind of keep her calm but for somebody to say yeah. something like this you know like yeah. anyone can lose their temper like you know lose their cool and i think that would be totally justifiable because that is such a, a ridiculous um, statement to make it's ridiculous you know, to tell someone ke agar wo koi ladki hai kya to tum to ladki ho tumhe kaun sa ghar mein paise dene hai and coming in from a very prestigious you know uh, platform and she I, I was shocked lady said that. It wasn't a. It wasn't a man. It was a woman said that to her. So I think it's it's just ridiculous. And I feel like because we have some people in positions of power, they hold a lot of power, and then it becomes difficult to speak up because then your thing is at stake. And I think maybe this happens in every profession, but I feel like people should talk about these things. It's very unfair. A lot of things are unfair. Yeah, <laughs> and I think. and i'm very hopeful um, you know which is why i love interacting with like my students everywhere like not just at ivs yeah. but like other schools as well cuz you kind of see that transition from from boomers to millennials to like gen z and i think now the next one is like alpha i'm not sure but okay. uh, right. know, uh as we kind of oh, progress so people are becoming become more and crazy, more uh, vocal you know uh they become yes. more vocal they being expressive and i like that so i'm kind of hopeful that things will change because jaise hum ab yahan tak aake idhar baat kar rahe hain kya you know the younger lot will probably go further and they'll speak up more on this right yes. i just hope yeah. like they don't get stuck in the rut of things and then they kind of become you know like they end up conforming to how things run and that they do kind of rebel right Uh, which they generally yeah. do in other kind of you know uh, discourses. So I, that kind of keeps this hope alive that okay things will probably uh, change, uh, you know, in yeah. the near future. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, exactly. And and that's what I'm hearing from um, not just but other uh, friends of mine who are either teaching or heading institutions, and they're saying the same. Get this generation speak up. They are unfit. Yeah, we- uh, so like it's just yeah. like like yes. Yeah. you know that we've got people who are kind of like you know being being vocal and being expressive and that's such a good thing exactly exactly and i think another thing that kind of needs to change is also that you should respect teachers teachers should have that level of respect but there should not be this hierarchy where they're so inaccessible ki aap unko ek alag hi kar dete hain there should be a kind of and i think that's too uh 
I, I mean, I could be wrong, but maybe my, you know, students can probably answer that better. But I see that changing in, in a lot of places like this, uh, you know, um, the teacher-student hierarchy. And in a lot of places, you will also see a lot of young teachers coming in, you know, because I feel like oh, nice. uh, the older teachers, hain, I feel like they probably are having a hard time uh, connecting to, to the younger lot, you know, and we probably can yeah. still, you know, get along and, and figure them out and speak to them, you know, and not feel any different. So, like any kind of workplace, you know, academic workplace, I'm seeing that a lot of younger, uh, our generation, millennial generation is kind of coming in as educators to teach, you know, the next, you know, the Gen Zs. Dr. Um, Numer, I want to ask you about your wonderful art experiences, and you've had quite a few of them. So, you've been part of international arts and programs in books, UK, then Harvard, uh, you were visiting Hello, then Luxembourg. Uh, so, what was it? What are the of this I, Shanzi, you were lagging. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'll oh, repeat now you're what fine, I said. But that entire question, I know what you said. We'll get to the end part. You were just kind of repeating where all I've been, but we can skip that and just get to the question. Here, and that's okay. So tell me about your international artists and and the difference between the part local What is the sign? Yeah, Shanzi, your voice is breaking. Give me the question. I'll repeat it myself and the question be my friend Lunga or Jawab be or Tum Bet ki dekha. Question 10. <laughs> oh, you're serious. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now can you hear me? Skip to question 10. I'm mixing yeah, them up right you. now. I can hear you. Okay, I'm mixing up the questions. So I was going to oh, ask okay, you've been part of it. Yeah. So tell us about Gasworks UK, tell us about Harvard and also Luxembourg and your observations on the differences between Pakistani and uh, international art scenes. I, I mean, I love, I, I really want to go for another residency. Like it's just so much fun. You know, ek I love being independent, being by myself, put khana pakana, safai karna, you know, uh, wo, wo karne ko milta hai. and then you kind of meet other other artists um, kya hai, uh, uh, from different parts of the world, that interaction, you know, like I remember at Gasworks, uh, we bought all of, all four of us bonded so well, you know, like we're still in touch, we still talk, you know, I'm sending gifts yeah. to them, uh, you know, we're chatting and then they're like, I like I invite them to present, uh, you know, their work to my students. Um, and sabne, by the end of the residency, sabne ka tha ki sab and would we be able to gel in or not? But fortunately, fortunately, like we all got along so well, right? Um, but it was a lot of fun. Like it was, it was a good break from your regular work. Okay. And I think that is one of the key reasons why one would want to go for residency. If you feel like you become yeah. stagnant and you're not really progressing and deadlines, 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 or in some season up part of the room, exactly. to then take a break, go for a residency, exactly. all right? And do something that you never would have thought of doing, uh, you know, uh, back in Pakistan. Uh, then there was uh, one um, and these which I really, it was good. Again, made friends, but it was more like oh. camping style. I would. Which, they were all funded. which one was camping style? All of them were funded. Yeah. Okay, the okay. Um, um, right? And I did I did one right in the beginning, which I don't mention in my CV, which was local in Pakistan. And that was the worst experience Vassal? ever. Oh, Nine, I know. Not Vassal. Okay. Thank uh, you. Vassal was a great experience. No, I wasn't at yeah. DQ either. No, I'm oh, sorry. Then I don't... Yeah. It was some other residency. Okay. Uska naam khud bhi bhul jau, but wo main, uh, uska naam bhi nahi and the iron irony that was, was that there was another artist there was another artist who came in for a talk during that residency and they were telling us you know, residency ki thi, 
somewhere in Vietnam और uh, वो उसको मेंशन नहीं करते बिकॉज वो उनका बहुत बुरा एक्सपीरियंस था एंड वो ही रेजिडेंसी मेरे लिए बहुत बुरी एक्सपीरियंस हो गई सो आई डोंट मेंशन दैट इन माय वीडियो अ सो लाइक देयर आर लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ रेजिडेंसी सो आई नो नाउ दैट अ कैंपिंग स्टाइल रेजिडेंसी व्हिच आई नो अ कपल ऑफ आवर फ्रेंड्स हैव यू नो गॉन एंड डन वो मेरे लाइक दैट्स नॉट माय काइंड ऑफ वर्क आई कांट डू दैट नो मैं लाइक या आई डिड व्हाई डोंट आई रिमेंबर दिस एट ऑल व्हाट यू यू वांट हियर Were you not here? No. Where was I? It was 2019. Were you not here? I not. I did not know that you went to Luxembourg. But it was a very. What are you talking about? Lisa came in very late. Do you oh, not know this? Shanti, don't ye... do this in front of an audience that you don't know enough about me. Okay, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Sorry, <I didn't... laughs> We can talk <laughs> about it later. Oh, it's fine. I'm just really surprised right it. now. It was a residency. It was about a I play. It was for a festival, and I went for like maybe six days out of the possible two weeks that I had to be there for. Uh, Baki, most of it I did remotely from um, Karachi, and then I went there for like okay. uh, half a week. Uh, so yeah, so that's not my kind of work. The Howard one was not a residency; it was a fellowship. So they don't give you a studio; yeah. they just give you an office. uh and where you kind of research a laptop office desk and aap bas wahan pe kaam kar rahe hain you're not really uh making work work and then it was very interesting because i got to interact with the faculty there this you know giving a talk uh, to some of the students and uh they get there uh very organically kisi ne mere kaam ke bare mein suna unhone mujhe kisi aur se kisi human rights activist se connect kar diya kisi theater practitioner se connect kar diya you know so it was very uh very interesting that way the kind of connections we yeah. ended up building um but yeah, these, they were all very different like i know a couple of um, uh, residencies that are very like uh, process driven you have to produce work at the end of the day you have to kind of exhibit at the end of the day um some residencies are just about networking you know um there's a delphina residency uh, uh there's an open call which i highly encourage i want to apply to um I, as far as yeah. i know because i remember we went to delphina when we were at gasworks we had a dinner at delphina um and we met the residents of delphina and they were just not complaining but they were talking about so we were kind of com- take, like comparing notes like how gasworks residency was very different from uh delphina residency um it was better so the delphina foundation residency is is well i was i'm team gasworks cuz you know like i was like i'm be and i made like a family there like i'm not going to lie you know like i'm still in touch with yeah. everyone at gasworks um you know so if i ever go i can totally just drop in there and Say hi to everyone. Um, so, uh, but so, so the Fina residency is very, very network oriented. So they have like okay. network dinners literally every second night. You have to cook yourself, and you know there'll be like fifty big patrons, somebody big in the art world, some gallerist, curator, etc. would be coming in. Uh, you know, and up khane ke upar hi jaye, wo apna kam jaye, ek dusre ke saath jaye, wo discuss karne honge. And then wahi pe apne apna phone number ya email address wagera exchange kar liya. So those those guys, those uh, residents, then were you know telling us that you know it's just so much of work that every second day we have like a dinner and then we have to prepare a patch and then you know khana bhi khud banana hai un sab ke liye. So it was a lot of work. But that's what they focus they're, on. I think that's great. You know, they are cooking yeah. food. My God, that's the life. Yeah, <laughs> like you make. If they're the host, they make food, or they can order in, but they would rather make food, right? Okay, like for the, so, like the dinner is look, for hosted. The... No, for everybody. वो तो खुद के लिए तो वैसे ही बनाना होता है. But let's say हमने भी किया था. Like we when we were at the gasworks uh, house, we kept like a housewarming party or something, uh, just random. Like जिसका जो जो अपने you know मुल्क का इधर है लंदन में उन सब को बुला लो. तो हमने सब को बुलाया था. uh you know i had oh. a couple of my friends show up as well uh to humne khud khana banaya tha so if let's say the delphina foundation ke ghar pe unke ghar pe agar dinner ho raha hai the residents are the ones inviting somebody else obviously they are in charge of the food you know now either they make it or they order in whatever but yeah so that's kind right. of like you know so every residency has a different dynamic uh but i feel like you know uh when you ask about what the difference is between the pakistani art scene and the international art scene i mean things are changing but you don't get to see a lot of different mediums uh you know in in pakistan as you would uh in 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 um, uh, 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 abroad um a lot of disciplines a lot
lot of genres, a lot of mediums are counted and valued uh, as art, right? Like even assemblage, for example, yeah. would be considered as art. Yeah. Uh, you know, and and it's yeah. acquired. We can run a museum. It's for a gallery. Jab the car bhi rahi hai. You know, probably because of again a funding and everything, so they don't really have to care. Un arts council is very very active. You know, uh, yeah. uh, in in yeah. the UK. So maybe they get proper funding. So maybe they don't have to care about whether it sells or not. Uh, but I do feel like I look at a couple of artists here. You know, I feel like that might also just be changing here, you know? and a lot of people are also rebellious in that way. Can't just say, "Hey, we're gallery. We're just going to show them. 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 in germany and she was telling me about how she did not have enough funds to really make art okay hmm. and so her uh kya kehte hain her 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 work eventually became about not having uh enough money to make art so i'm just going to use you know wow. whatever resources i can get and it was also about how uh how galleries and museums like you said earlier how galleries and museums exploit uh artist so she would work with uh with materials that she would find at the gallery and at the museum right like unka ek storage mm-hmm. space mein koi purane frames koi crate koi lakdi ka tukda wo sab pade hote the wo uske sath kaam banati hai wo hi utha leti hai to wo and dust she's working with dust from gallery and museum dust you know so like limitations kind of hold you back but then you also figure out how to go around it uh, okay. so is that the kaam yahan pe you know would be very radical like in pakistan something like this yeah unless you get that validation <laughs> from from abroad first yeah yeah i think i think it does uh-huh. boil down to like lack for sure lekin that's also unfortunate for the artist like for example if you want to put up a video in a gallery space i feel like galleries should somehow be able to have the fund to ha- to own at least one projector you know because that yeah, becomes sure. becomes unfortunate video and up 2000 rupees per day pay kar rahe ho just for your work to be shown and i suppose minimum the exhibition goes on for a week so you're paying 14000 rupees in your pocket just to be able to show a video and i think these sort of things are kind of fortunate so koi aisi funding ho jiske aap tak tak dal kar pao ya please to pass i do you know if they run it to go guess Exactly. So Amara is saying also KB intrigues me. What happens? That's Why true. And I think it opens next Shaheen week. Shahin, welcome. Nice. Hi Shahin. Uh, Shahin, doing good. Getting your. I love that Numair is so prepared. Actually, when Numair told me that he's doing all of this, I freaked out, I and I tried looking for. I literally bodies. went to town. I went material. I went and got materials. I like it's chances one year of art launch talks. We need to kind of celebrate. वरना तो ऐसे ही मतलब एक ड्राई और नॉट दैट एनी ऑफ योर अदर कॉन्वर्सेशंस वर ड्राई बट बहुत सीरियस मुझे नहीं करना था आई वाज लाइक वी नीड टू सेलिब्रेट ओके व्हिच इज व्हाई आई स्टार्टेड विद अ विद एन एंट्रेंस द मैच रिवीलिंग हिज थॉट्स या या नो आई लव द इट वाज अमेजिंग द एंट्रेंस यू हैव टू वॉच द वीडियो इट वाज द बेस्ट ओके अच्छा नो मैं लेट्स मूव ऑन टू अनदर थिंग टू व्हिच इज दैट यू आर एन आर्ट राइटर एज़ वेल Uh, we it's eleven sixteen, so it's been an hour since we started speaking. I think we jo- we started at ten fifteen. Okay, so Nume, you started ten fifteen. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's been an hour. Okay, so Nume, you let me check actually. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, Nume, you're, yeah, yeah, you're an art writer. Yeah, you're an art. Excuse me, you're an art writer as well. Can you name an international or local artist work or particular exhibition you would love to write about? Huh? That's part one. That's part one, okay. And part two is: Do you feel writers in Pakistan are given their due? Writers. Okay, you can also writers. skip it. 
okay let's focus on art writers i don't i don't even know if writers are given their due to so art writers ka pura alag hi baat hogi right uh like unko itna seriously liya jata hai nahi liya jata hai i don't get it uh but art 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 ki uh the audience is also very limited i don't know how many people actually read articles on art maybe just those who That's are from true. the art scene mujhe nahi pata uske ilawa uske bahar do they even flip to that page or not um so the That's audience true. is limited so i guess it's a, it's a, it's a very nascent kind of at a very nascent and very uh young uh stage which kind of needs to kind of uh, mature further uh but i can't really say yeah. that they're not given their due they are underpaid from what i've been paid i think with the amount of effort uh you know at least i put i feel like that doesn't do justice uh to to the work uh but mai wohi keh raha hu ki mujhe nahi pata ki regular art uh, writers ko kya payment milti hai wo so that not just for art writing it's generally just you know for writing um there are a couple of artists you feel like- i really like but do you Sorry, we just keep. Uh, okay. Do you feel that you also are, as an a writer, a little bit limited in in how you write about the art? Do you ever feel like they expect to to write a very balanced review? Okay, you are not too critical, not too dry, and all that stuff. Does that ever happen? Uh, so usually, what I do is, if I don't resonate with somebody's work, I generally just decline. <laughs> I'll okay. say that you know I don't want to write on this show, or write on this work. So I'll put it to your thumb. I feel like as an mm. artist, even though it may be wrong and people can argue, we're kind of in the same boat. Uh, you know, so I I uh, I I can't really publicly uh, say that काम अच्छा था या बुरा था, especially you know given the kind of industry that we have. Uh, a lot of times, like I've read such unnecessarily scathing reviews, and वो Facebook पे उसी के अंदर जो वो एक बहस चलनी शुरू हो जाती है एक यू नो एक यंग आर्टिस्ट उसके काम की आपने बुराई कर दी एक दो दफा तो वो ओपनिंग से पहले भी आपने जो है वो क्या कहते हैं वो पब्लिश कर दिया आर्टिकल सो मेनी पीपल आर गोइंग टू रीड रीड दैट एंड देन डिसाइड नॉट टू गो टू दैट एग्जीबिशन यू नो एंड एंड दैट पर्सन वाज व्हाट एट दैट स्टेज वे they needed that kind of exposure they needed that kind of uh, audience to come in that at least is the name to pehle right fir aap us audience pe chhod do ke wo acha hai bura hai ya kya but and it wasn't even like a timidly kind of you know negative review was like very very harsh like unnecessarily harsh really? right like it, it, yeah sure. like i read it i was like calm down like you know and it's still um, so i think that was very rad and i and i mujhe yaad hai ek mein to maine i called that person out and it's not somebody like small it was actually quite an eminent um uh kya kehte hain uh senior uh writer and i very politely uh, uh wrote in the comment i said uh, while you know your uh, opinions aside i don't think that this review should have been published before the show actually opened because it's going to affect people's yeah. decision to actually go to that show and somebody jo abhi yeah. shayad char ya panch saal pehle graduate hua hoga ek उसको वो जरूरत है कि उसके काम पे उसके शो पे जो है वो लोग आए सो दे दे अपॉलोजाइज दे पब्लिकली अपॉलोजाइज दिस इज यस दैट्स करेक्ट आई शुड हैव अम बट आई डोंट नो हाउ दिस कन्वर्सेशन केम दी कहां पे आए किस तरफ आए हां सो आई यूजुअली जस्ट टाइ व्हाट आई डू इज दिस इज माय इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ दिस पर्सन्स वर्क फॉर यू ऑल राइट पर्टिकुलरली इफ आई एम राइटिंग फॉर डॉन आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट डॉन हैज अ लॉट ऑफ नॉन आर्ट लिटरेट ऑडियंस people who are not from the art scene mm-hmm. right so i have to also kind of write in very simple words uh very straight forward terms so that they will masses ko sam- samajh mein aa sake to main us Say, angle se likhta hu ke this is my that interpretation of the work and this work for me you know so if there's anything negative yeah. i write it in a very like very very polite uh kya kehte hain uh manner mm-hmm. but agar koi aisa kaam hai jo mujhe bilkul bhi samajh nahi aa raha bura bhi nahi hai lekin i just don't get it like i i go like i can't read this mujhe nahi samajh aa raha what this is about or whatever i then you know decline i go like it's a check and i spell it cool and i don't do justice to the artist intentions or their work i'd rather that you give me some other show to write about theek hai that makes sense yeah all right okay uh, uh, so 
Nomer, do you feel that fine art, whether it's exposure, creation, understanding, promotion, and collection, is primarily an exclusive thing? Or do you feel like art is and should be acceptable for all? I think it is exclusive. I'm not going to lie. Uh, and I... Like, I've seen so many festivals and, and events happen where they, they're having these talks and pretentiously say, okay, oh, we wanted to kind of, you know, reach out to the audience and the masses. Those are the tickets that you have kept in those So, who are you masses to attract the masses? Right? And I was like, uh, don't say it. Just don't say it. Right? Admit it. That, okay, we're not reaching out to the public. We're trying to keep it very private and exclusive. No harm. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. But you say that we want to the public to reach out to the public and you have written all the information in English. You don't have any information in Urdu. So, which audience do you want to attract? Yeah. It? Uh, so, these are issues that I've seen on like big, big festivals and platforms. So I do think that it's very exclusive. A lot of art fests that have happened, it's the same Ginti ke crowd, jo wohi ek gallery se, dusi gallery se, dusi gallery jate, wohi ja ke public space mein jate, jo kaam dikta hai. So I'm not, I'm not gonna yeah. lie that it's, it's uh, you know, that it's, it's accessible to everybody. It can be accessible to everybody if people are really honest uh, in their intention and really work hard into making it accessible. Uh, but otherwise at the moment, I don't think it is. Okay. Okay. And, and and do you feel like it should be, or do you feel like th- that's just feel the like way it, it goes? Like, I feel like it should be, and I don't think that's that's the way. Uh, but uh, art and visual culture is like, क्या कहते हैं आप किसी अनपढ़ से भी बात कर सकते हो through visuals, okay? Like you yeah. can speak to anybody who does not speak your language through images, uh, you know, and through through any kind of visual design. So it's like the most yeah. universal language there is, um, you know, uh, just images. I can instruct you, I can tell you what to do, what not to do, just through images, just by you looking at something. So I think it has so yeah. much potential to actually reach out to, to, uh, to, uh, to the masses. But have we tapped into it? I don't think so. Yeah, Basel has done a lot of like good stuff. You know, their uh, Museum of Abandoned Spaces, uh, that's an interesting project that people can look at. So I still done some great public, uh, you know, interventions in art spaces that really kind of brought in, um, uh, kind of drawn in the crowd, the passes by, that they can see what they are doing, why they are doing art, and they can see you know, maybe the conversation will conversation will start, their mind change, ho, they understand exactly. what art is. Uh, you know, so yeah. I'm not going to say that it's all bad, but a lot mm-hmm. of them do come from, you know, this sort of uh, place of false pretense, kind of like, okay, okay, we're trying to reach out to the public, whereas, no, you're not. Okay, look at, look at the way yeah. you've kind of structured the entire, the, 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 the festival. Do you really think it's actually catering yeah. to, uh, you know, to, to the public, or are you kind of just trying to reel your uh, gallery crowd to come out into the open? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Sana says, agreed, art fest should be for the masses. And Shaheen says, it's a universal language. Absolutely. I agree with you guys. We agree. Um, okay, so Numair, can you tell us a little about other interests and hobbies? Should I give you whatever? How many, how, many questions, how many questions do we have left? Well, this is the final one, but I've skipped one or two. Uh, I could go back to those. If you feel like but they were okay, just a I mean, little... they're repetitive. Right. Okay, so yeah. I mean, you can still share it. I can give you like a 20 second response. So you can go back to those and then come to the hobby. Okay, so those questions were, okay, what would you say to people who don't consider art to be an important or valuable career? Uh... <laughs> Shine. I mean, it, it depends who those people are. Okay. A lot of times I also if they're your... it's not my risk. If they're, your friends, if they're my friends, adults. what would I say? If they're my friends, if they're my family, oh. they can always see that how it is an important and viable career. If there's some random stranger, I don't care if you think it's not a viable, important career. I don't need that kind of, I don't care. Like, do you get it? Like, I'm that kind of person now. I don't care what you think about my work, my work, my work, my work, my work, my work. You go and understand. I'm going to spend my time and my mind, you know, 
समझाने में लगू एंड यू कम यू नो बट आप करते क्या हो Like 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 I had not even like, yeah. I'm not even talking talking about about or anything. I'm talking about like people with a lot of exposure, with a a lot lot of of exposure, education. Wo abhi tak mujhe but to hobby रात को सोने से पहले एंड गूगल इट अप एंड सी के आर्ट होता क्या है बट या नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट गुड एनफ फॉर द रिस्पांस दैट्स परफेक्ट आई जस्ट वांट टू ऐड समथिंग टू इट अम सो खैर दिस इज नॉट आई इट्स नॉट एन आंसर टू द क्वेश्चन बट इट्स अ रिलेटेड पॉइंट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू हाउ पीपल थिंक अबाउट आर्ट एंड व्हाट दे कंसीडर टू बी मोर ऑथेंटिक आर्ट कंपेयर टू अदर्स सो आई हैड सम पीपल ओवर and so my dad's friends and uh, this painting the in the back wo andar lagi hui thi and um, wo mujhe puch rahe the ki acha iska kitna hissa painted hai aur kitna hissa printed hai to maine explain kiya and they like acha but ye bataiye jo queen hai uska kaun sa part aapne paint kiya hai aur kaun sa originally tha so i had to tell them ki acha ye baal paint jo hai ye kiya hai wo a little further away from me and i felt like in that entire conversation two second conversation that guy judged whether he considers this to be a valid पार्ट Uh, what what is this that to a certain extent what so this is but, a very uh, but but also shams at least he understood that this was art right a lot of people don't even know like even right now they don't know what art uh, is ye to phir bhi chalo ye to baat us pe ho gayi ki manual labor kitna kiya hai to uske hisab se aap value bada rahe ho kam kar rahe ho kya but at least unko yeah. acknowledge kiya yeah. ki ek painting hoti kya cheez hai aur ye dikhti bhi hai aur ye log karte bhi hain and it's an investment uh-huh. and all of that You know, so the, वो तो एक yeah. अलग की बा, अलग सी बात है But, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Next question. Yeah. Okay. So, Namir, um, let me just uh, look for it. I had another one. Oh, भूल गई क्या सवाल था मैं बताऊं नहीं मिक्सअप की होल्ड ऑन ठीक है यू जस्ट शो एवरी वन ओके सो दिस इज समथिंग Yeah, What I did. What about it? Did you change your hat? Yeah. Oh, you did. I did. Of course, I did. I, did? I, okay, I I said cool. it the. I tried to just pop out I, of the frame and just quickly so that people won't know and they'll just you know. But I did change my hat. It was something totally different in the beginning. I love colorful things. So the minute you put these colors on your head, I I had noticed it. Ah, sure. And I okay. said it. But I, and, Yeah, 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 I love how Namir is so like into this whole thing. Okay, so Namir, this is a this is another question. Do you feel that art stems from personal experience? Sorry, hold on. Do you feel that art that stems from a personal experience is more authentic compared to someone working on generic themes? And does this authenticity reveal itself in the work? Mm, you know, I've opened your document as well. I think everything is personal. I... Okay. I I don't uh so I think somebody working with a generic topic could also be personal. Ho sakta hai unko pata nahi ho ki wo generic topic pe kyun kaam kar rahe hain, right? So that's what some, that's something that they will have to introspect on. Ki agar mujhe isme interest hai to main isme mujhe isme interest kyun hai? Kya cheez hai iske bare mein jo mujhe pasand aa rahi hai? And that would probably you know and Obviously, आपके टेस्ट अलग होते हैं तो अगर आप किसी चीज के ऊपर काम कर रहे हैं आप काम कर रहे हैं राइट दैट्स योर इंटरेस्ट पर्सन इज ऑलरेडी कमिंग इन बट ऑथेंटिसिटी नॉट हैव टू डू विद इट बीइंग पर्सनल और जेनेरिक थीम और एनीथिंग ऑथेंटिसिटी कम्स फ्रॉम इन माय ओपिनियन जस्ट बीइंग ऑनेस्ट एंड ट्रांसपेरेंट टू योरसेल्फ दैट दिस इज व्हाट आई वांट टू डू भले आप ऑडियंस के सामने कुछ और बोल दो या उनको समझ में भी ना आए या यू आर अनएबल टू इवन आर्टिकुलेट योरसेल्फ यू नो इन फ्रंट ऑफ एन ऑडियंस but as long as in your mind 
you know that this is my intention this is what i want to do the work will be authentic and that will in my opinion come across yeah absolutely absolutely uh, okay now no matter the final question before the rapid fire Ooh, the fun which part. is that After can... all of this heavy and yeah. dense conversation now we come to the fun stuff yes so can you tell us a yes. little about your other in- so my other interests and hobbies uh, i like to read but i'm also a very very slow reader so i have like six books at the same time jo phir har teen mahine baad mein dobara uthata hu ki oh ek mai beech mein hi chhod diya mai dobara padta hu so i i don't stick to one yeah. book i read multiples um and then um reading ho gaya kya kehte hain uh cats and dogs khana khilana feeding them i do that a lot uh gardening you know uh, i picked yes. it up during covid uh, cuz some peak covid lockdown I had nothing to do you know so i started ordering in plants and the plants came in and wo char se panch se che se okay i think now i have like 200 or something plants i'm not kidding that oh my god gathered uh, over the past three years and ab duniya khul gayi to main logon ko yahi bolta hu ki bhai ab duniya khul gayi and now i can go back to i can't be like acha nahi ab bahar jao and now i'm not You know, now I've taken responsibility, so I need to kind of you know take care of them. And I'm also I would also call myself like a plant, uh, not to sound smug or anything, but like a collector. So, you know, like how people buy paintings. I I kind of try and get like these rare and imported plants. Uh, you know, सस्ते में कहीं से मुझे मिल जाते हैं मैं वो ले लेता हूँ, which you can't find you know in your local nurseries anywhere. So I have those. Um, Thank you. We and Bollywood, uh, adorable and plants. Yeah. So I think thanks to you, I have my first two. You you gifted me like three plants with really cute pots. So thanks to you, I have something that I can like. I have some interest in it as I, well. I I give around. I have even put it in the garden. Some cuttings and so on. That the next batch will be you know, will be given or gift given. So yeah. I think that's generally like. So I was just coming to this. Like a lot of these things, I feel like I have subconsciously from my family. Se hai. My khala, my mom, are right. very into gardening. the way way into gardening okay. my my mom's entire side is very into gardening wo to apna compost wagera okay. khud banate hain aur hamare aisa hota hai ki ek banda mali jo hai wo taiyar karke rakhta hai ki agar jaise mere mami aa gayi or anyone from my mom's side comes to wo usi waqt jo hai wo ek gamla utha ke wo leke chale jate hain taiyar gamle rakhe hote hain ki ek gamla iska rakha hai wo leke jaoge like we went to our mamus and my mamus hai ki wo palm ka paudha rakha hai wo tumhe leke jana hai kya you know and every time he comes he then makes me go around the garden and give him cuttings so generally ek hamari family mein wo raha hai i started with cactus because those were the easiest to maintain you know uh, but eventually moved on to tropical plants the cat and dog right. thing is coming in for my dadi like my late dadi you know and she's such a big influence on my life and on my interest wo uh, yeah jab main chhota tha to wo uh, gate pe khadi hoti thi aur mujhe awaaz laga ke bola thi ki no mai rao dekho so i would go up to go to the acha bhi but idhar khade ro aur ye dekho unke paas wo gosh gosh hota tha and what what is it called um chichra like left over you know like uh yeah the discarded parts of the 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 uh goats and cows and chicken wo hota tha unke paas and she yeah. called me ke aake ye dekho to main unke barabar khada hota tha and she just stand at the door and she be like and i could you not like unke ghar ke samne ek park tha dur se You know, six, seven billion. They all kind of spread yeah. towards her. Okay, and two, three cats were also coming. And the line, so as the gate was opened, the line, so as the cows were, you know, sitting on the tarp, and then she would also throw the food in the air, and these chills would swoop down. And so, you know, like just generally, like she was so giving. You know, like every day, maybe I think once or twice, she would give food to. And I, like, I made a video, like. a uh, last year or something where i did that and it was such a good um uh, reflection it felt good that i i yeah, yeah i felt like i embodied because i did the same thing when apna ghar ka gate khola i called out the cats and when jaise gate khola upar tar pe jo hai wo cuz they also used to it now to tar pe jo hai wo uh these these tab pe baith gaye hamari gali mein do teen kutte hain which the neighbors take care of wo aa gaye billi aa jaati hai you know so i feel like i definitely uh inherited that kind of uh, you know interest from her and bollywood old bollywood like a big 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 big, 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 oh, big fan of old bollywood music 
and that too from my dadi yeah. wo dopahar mein mujhe uh, uh, jab bhi sulati thi apne barabar you know to wo main unke barabar lekta tha and she wo aise kya kehte hain tar jo hai wo sehlati thi and she would sing like very yeah. old 50s 60s ke bollywood gaane to so, mujhe uh, almost every song mujhe jo hai wo rat gaya hai lyrics mujhe yaad hain sare singers ke naam mujhe yaad hain abhi bhi if i'm painting or doing anything it's always like old bollywood music you know uh, that i uh, i play and humne recording ki thi because she was the type of person she was like nawab khan down khandan se hamara taluq tha kya and she wanted to become a a, a, a singer and uh, oh, okay you know so i even the work right now that i did for separation geography is on her you know uh, so she wanted to uh, become a singer but her her dadi said no she said nawab khandan ki betiyan jo hai aise shock nahi rakhti hai kya to my dad he always used to say ke and by the way when i say my dad i'm talking about my khalya dad so i'm not talking about my dad dad i'm talking about my dad's sister okay yeah, yeah, and yeah. i was so close, close to her that my actual dad he would say ke tum tum apni sagi dad se itne kareeb nahi ho jitne tum meri behan se ho so i'm talking about oh. her How did, and uh, that happened ha huh? did that just yeah, happen just naturally happened, that naturally i think it just happened naturally like a taste would connect मैं जब भी उनके पास वन साइड शिफ्टेड हुआ जब भी उनके पास जाता था वो जाके मेरे लिए कचोरियां लेके आती थी कुछ न्यू हाउ चाहे लव कचोरी यू नो सो लाइक मुल्तानी मिट्टी मेरे फेस पे लगाना सो लॉट ऑफ दीज थिंग्स लाइक आई हैव कैप्ट लाइक अ अ पोर्ट्रेट इज इन माय बेडरूम सो आई इफ आई वेक अप लाइक अ पिक्चर इज राइट देयर यू नो सो वो वो मुझे बार-बार बोलती थी कि अगर मुझे इजाजत मिल गई होती तो हम आशा पारख होते हैं क्या ऐसे करके नहीं लता मंगेशकर होते एंड शी कैप्ट सेइंग मी दैट शी डज काइंड ऑफ शी सेड दैट लोग मुझे आशा पारेक बोलते थे व्हिच व्हेन आई लुक्ड एट अ यंग पिक्चर्स यू नीड टू गूगल हु आशा पारेक इज ओके इफ यू लुक एट अ यंग पिक्चर शी डज एक्चुअली लुक लाइक आशा पारेक तो उनका वो था तो उन्होंने मेरे साथ आई यूज्ड टू प्ले द द पतीला लाइक अप टर्न अप साइड डाउन एज अ एज अ ढोल एक पतीला या मटका एंड शी यूज्ड टू सिंग और वो हमने कैसेट रिकॉर्डर पे हमने वो रिकॉर्डिंग पूरी बनाई हुई है बट सैडली उसको डिजिटाइज करा दू यू नो मे बी समेट इन माई वर्क बट आई एम लाइक प्लेइंग बैकग्राउंड of my dadi singing kaho na pyar hai <laughs> oh nice wish you would just kar rakhi hai randomly uh, i find uh, like in the mayor i interview her for indus valley i remember hume kisi ko shay grandparent ko interview karna tha kya tha i don't I remember i interviewed my But, my dadi as well yes there was yeah, an assignment i remember i have that interview somewhere and i mean that's the only time i interviewed her so her voice is in that you know and it's so valuable mm. to me now you just never नवाब खानदान से हमारा ताल्लुक था बड़ा बहुत 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 था था या क्या कहना चाहता व्हेन शी शी लव दिस फॉर मी थिंग All plus all. Hi, Rabia B. <laughs> Let's see you. Let's see you soon. I know you're in Cape Town. Yes. Um. Okay. So let's move What's on the to the one? rapid fire. Oh, That's rapid an original fire. segment. Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. Now, so now you want to can... answer these yourself as well? So maybe answer can I? Oh, my God. Very, very More quick. pressure. If you're not going to be quick, I'm going to just... try. Okay. I think I won't be quick because I haven't prepared any yet. Okay, fine. No matter. If you woke up with someone else for a day, who would you be? Uh, maybe like some celebrity, like Kim Kardashian or like Taylor Swift. So someone who has immense privilege to travel to three continents within one day. 
and doesn't have to worry about oh that's obviously someone like that yeah. okay so I'm- <laughs> you're assuming i'm saying am i supposed to answer these two yeah yeah answer these with me but rapid fire okay so i'm also going to say like celebrity but like a bollywood celebrity like maybe kareena kapoor or someone just to see how it is to act Reason. because i would love in another world i would have loved to be a part of that part of that world that's disney okay fine food you could eat every day okay food i could eat every day dumplings maybe but more than dumplings uh Okay, note it down. Okay, in case I come over to your place, it will be the first thing, Nana. Uh, okay. But yeah. my ultimate favorite food is dal chawal. It's like a platter. So dal chawal. I was going to say the okay. same thing. Dal chawal. Let me finish. Not just dal chawal. It's a whole okay. like uh, assemblage of like things. So dal chawal, yeah. shami kebab with the dal chawal. Okay. Yeah. Tomato ki chutney with all of that, and then. जीरे वाले आलू जीरे वाले आलू तो मैंने मेकिंग एवरीथिंग माई सेल्फ टूगेदर बिकॉज आई लव दैट कॉम्बिनेशन लाइक आई लव दैट कॉम्बिनेशन सो आई समटाइम्स आई ऑल्सो फील इट्स इन कम्प्लीट इफ आई ओनली हैव लाइक दाल चावल एंड वन थिंग एंड नॉट दी अदर सो आई ट्राई टू मेक दैट ऑल माई सेल्फ आई हैव द कम्प्लीट यू नो दाल चावल टमाटर चटनी aloo sabzi and shami kebab oh i can eat that for the rest of my life i swear like i really am hungry now okay. i'm going to say dal chawal with dal chawal with slims you know that's disgusting okay let's move on oh that's next okay fine okay a dream you have with regards to your career uh none next what's yours really I want to show yeah, you like some I, some big ass uh, guy. I I want a dream. I thought I want you're talking about a dream that I, I had. Oh God! What did you say? You mean like a dream, <laughs> like a no dream, dream that I like a dream <laughs> that I I don't remember my dreams. I didn't ask you about those dreams. Okay, okay. A dream like that a dream. I have in regards to my career would be to actually yeah. Um, yeah I think yeah, something international, like something big and international, maybe. Yeah. I want my work to be super expensive so that I get like a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Who doesn't? Dinner. So each... yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Next. How do you overcome creative? How do you overcome creative block? Uh, I read. I write. I do mind map exercises. uh and i also uh, just started what something what exercise my map oh, okay okay um But with I me i don't start because sometimes starting you know also also just takes you somewhere to jo bhi hai just begin and usi se aapko fir itna ideas aane shuru ho jata hai what about you that's i don't <laughs> i literally don't overcome it I, I, ouch I think I just procrastinate oh, I you till I have any creative blocks. I was like, "Wow, were you impressive?" No, I don't get over it. Over the, those blocks. Okay, current favorite new Pakistani artist. By the way, by artist, I don't mean visual artist. I mean like it could be an actor, singer, anybody. Oh, I know your answer. Shall I answer for you? What is it? Ali Sethi for you. But he's not new. But he is my absolute favorite. But he's not new. For me, I don't think there's anything new. Like no, no one new right now that I'm super into. Okay, I like Hasan Rahim. I mean, I do follow a lot of artists. A lot of okay. I I I used to okay. like Hasan Rahim, but now I feel like he just he just mumbles. That's what I feel. And a lot of his songs, he just mumbles. He's not clear, and I'm like. What are you even trying to say? Say it clearly, okay? When every time I listen yeah, to a song, yeah. I think apparently I saw on Twitter that's a very uh, popular uh, opinion uh, on him. That he's only just open his mouth and when he speaks, he doesn't say anything. And he's kind of made it in style, which I now partly agree with. So yeah. That's what uh, my mom also thinks. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, okay, what's your pet peeve? Oh, okay, yeah, that's true. What is yours? 
Wait, what do you mean? I asked you. What is your pet peeve? I'm asking you first. I have to think about this. Uh, there are many, actually. I think. Um, Rapid fire. Then. Liar. When I know that someone's lying to my face, and I know the the truth. But that's not the only thing. Actually, pet peeve. क्या होगी मतलब um, someone chewing really loudly. Like- Someone chewing okay, really loudly. Yeah. I I well. Uh, um, I don't know a couple of things. When my well, पहले हमारी मासी जब वो पंखा नहीं क्या कहते हैं बंद करके चली जाती थी. You know those are typical things. Uh, people uh, lying, yeah. people lying, obviously uh, over committing to something. You know why do you have to commit to something that you were not willing to sort of take forward? something like that um a lot of like statements and words that people say uh you know when like for example and this is a habit that my mom has put into me she said ke uh, uh i used to say ke wo uh, fridge mein wo pada hua hai ya wo ye pada hua hai kya hai and my mom would be like yeah, my yeah. mom and khala both they be like pada hua nahi hai rakha hua hai okay pada pada hua means ke usko aise theka hua hai and i have taken that on yeah. board so well And now if anybody says ke uh wo cheez wahan pe padi hai i go like matlab tumne wahan pe theki hai you know uh so that i'm glad that she made me learn this so that if anybody says something is bada hua especially if it's food i i really pick on that yeah next yeah okay that makes advice you'd give your younger self uh work hard body harder i guess like make the most of it what about you because i do feel yeah. like Like the life has drained color out of me, so which is why I'm trying to bring it back. You know, and as you kind of mature, you start to feel like you do feel. I don't know about you, Shan, but you can kind of tell that your body is, you know, uh, not as uh, uh, energetic uh, as it used to be when yeah. you were back in school, right? Uh, yeah. And I don't, I don't mean that I feel bemar or my pair me dard ho raha hai ya you know back me dard ho raha hai. Because you just generally there's a sense. inside where you your your body just feels old okay or older let's say so i would just tell my younger self to kind of make the most uh you know what about you uh i would tell my younger self to just relax a little bit and not take everything so seriously and chill out and go with the flow cuz i used to be very oh, like yeah. oh stay within this box step out of that otherwise oh duniya khatam ho jayegi i just i tell myself to chill out and it's okay to make mistakes I used to think I making think mistakes I, I is like the same. about me uh, or maybe yourself. Maybe wrong. Maybe for me as well. I would also tell myself to like okay. just like let yourself flow wherever life takes you, something like that. Yeah. All right. Next. Yeah. Exactly. Because I've learned that. So I used to think the world isn't forgiving, but I feel like in many ways it is more forgiving than I imagined it to be. So anyway, I think that's very. Even if it's not really forgiving, it's like. uh even if it's not forgiving it's just kind of you don't know anything to the world by world i mean to people any- uh yeah exactly. to everybody else and eventually exactly. everybody moves on okay even if they don't forgive they move on and life will move on so yeah. you know cool. yeah you public is this bad job okay so yeah anyway exactly okay what scares you uh heights a little bit uh being independent uh, being dependent on somebody uh, it's not scary okay. but like i just don't want to be dependent on anyone for anything so which is why a lot of my work is also something safe which i can take complete authority off or you know complete control of agar koi aisa kaam hai banaun jisse mujhe kisi coder ke sath kaam karna hai ya kisi carpenter ke sath kaam karna hai i would be very reluctant to kind of give away that because wo fir apne deadline pe kaam karega sahi karega nahi karega So I kind of like to say, do work that I know I will just be hundred percent involved in, and not have to share that responsibility with anyone. So even that kind of dependence, right, and financial dependence, or those sub things, like I don't want to be dependent on anybody. I do, I think, Make- very strongly believe that I have a phobia of uh, thunder, lightning. I can't. Uh, really? Yeah, I cannot. Not at all. That's crazy. Like I never. I I get so scared. I'm 
फौरन अंदर भाग जाता हूँ पर्दे चढ़ा के मुझे बिल्कुल भी ना देखते and uh, b um i think claustrophobic spaces so being like closed okay. and locked inside something mm-hmm. so i love i love water, but drowning and stuff like that you know that just okay so you it, you wouldn't want to see like a underwater cliff uh underwater cliff like i tried scuba diving once but this pipe thing broke and i took that as a okay, sign so that, not scuba diving probably that triggered yes yeah. yeah. i've snorkeled but then i didn't scuba dive but maybe but the kal jaga fear i don't know okay the main the most mm-hmm. special thing about pakistan mm-hmm. uh that it's home wonderful <laughs> yeah what uh, are you for me for me i would say that because uh, despite the fact that there's a lot of shit that goes on here uh, people are still there for each other like in the sense that fam- people have their <clears throat> okay so if you're going through something and i think if you're in you're abroad in some i don't want to generalize but like western country mm. or something you're very much your individual self and you have to fend for yourself and people find it really difficult to ask their relatives or friends for help right it's like okay now you go yeah, make yeah. your own life. but koi relative ya koi koi bhi janne wala dur ka insaan bhi if they're going through something you know they can reach out to others and there are a lot of people who would want to help so uh, even if government se aapko help nahi mil rahi hai people will be looking out for you know, which i think is great okay. uh, yeah i i finally, okay final what makes you truly happy what makes you truly happy food uh a good company so like a really good time with friends and most importantly uh the most importantly uh a good sleep okay a sleep where you wake up and feel like i don't need yeah a good sleep jahan pe aapki makes sense 8 10 ghante wali jo neend hoti hai na because ab to like i you know i, I don't know about you but like wo jo ek 8 hours of sleep minimum type i don't manage to get that at least i don't about you okay cuz i have to wake up early as well and i'm generally a late night sleeper uh, not that late but, yeah mere uh, ek natural clock hai ki mujhe bas itne ghante se itne ghante jo wo sona hota hai kya but if i get to sleep a lot longer i think that's the best i'll i'll, I'll wake up very very happy wow that's you? wonderful Okay, so I wouldn't have answered this like uh, probably last year or something. Um, I would. There are many things that make me happy, but all, I feel like when you get out of a challenge and you come out stronger, and you feel like you're no longer affected okay. by that challenge anymore. Okay. So yeah, that made me. Yeah, that was good. That oh my god, I went through this okay. period of turmoil, but now I'm feeling stronger and I've gotten out of it. I think that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. um that's that and okay so now is a good time also to plug this in again uh this is the end of our conversation yes. with the mayor but we have two lovely candles from karachi candle who are our collaborators for our one year anniversary so whoever would like to win these please uh just follow the steps in one of the posts you basically have to like uh just like my instagram the mayor's instagram and karachi candles instagram and share this interview that you're watching right now on your stories send me a screenshot and we'll have a lucky draw So woohoo! Uh, but Nums, uh, did you have fun? <laughs> I had fun. I hope you had fun. I hope people had fun. Uh, yeah, I. I don't know. Time. I had a wonderful time, and I think that um, so I I. I really thank you because you went out of your way to like celebrate with me, and I just love your get up and your entrance dance. Thank and, you. Like, Amara oh, had fun. By the way, you didn't you um. तुमने कहीं लिखा था ना क्वेश्चन अबाउट हु हु इन व्हिच इंटरनेशनल और पाकिस्तानी आर्टिस्ट आर यू इंटरेस्टेड इन और समथिंग लाइक दैट आई डोंट नो यू रोट समथिंग लाइक दैट आई वाज सिंगिंग हमारा बट एनीवे हमारा इज वर्क इज फन आई लाइक वर्क इज वर्किंग एंड फन एंड दे हैव ह्यूमर एंड दे लाइक यू नो दे कैन बी टॉकिंग अबाउट समथिंग सीरियस बट एट द सेम टाइम दे हैव लाइक 
a playful element to it. So yeah. Anyway. Thank you, thank you, Mara. You had fun. Hello, Maria Mena. How are you? I hope you're good. Uh, thank you for joining the conversation. Ooh, Omar okay, is a best. I like that. Thank you. <laughs> love it, love it. Okay, so there's a lot we'll, of mutual uh, love happening. Later. Yeah, I love it. And congratulations love it. once again, Chance, for completing one year. Uh, and I look forward <laughs> to uh, more conversations that come <laughs> forth. Mares, thank you so much. I'm very, very happy that you joined, and I think you were the perfect guest for the one year anniversary. So thank you for being a part of the celebrations. So. And- no, you were wonderful. Thank you for your answers, and so, uh, I'm thank you. Right now, if we're both alive and if we're both in Karachi, then for your second uh, anniversary, I'll come back. All right, uh, but okay. I'll come back as the host. Okay. Mer- okay. Yeah, we will be we, alive. I will interview. Mer- yeah. Okay. okay. Well, you don't. You don't know. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you don't know life, but okay. But I'll be the host, and I shall interview you. Okay, everybody, thank you. Thank okay. you for joining. Thank you, Abdul. Thank How are you, Abdul? Abdul uh, here. Woohoo. Uh, but, thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you, Shans, and I shall see you soon. And congratulations once thank again. You. Are we signing out now? Bye. Yeah, I'm, I was just going to say I'm going to upload this on Instagram and YouTube. So, guys, please like my YouTube channel. I've, I need to increase my followers as well. <laughs> So, okay. Thank you, everybody. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.